Link TV, connecting you to the world. Link TV is viewer supported. Watch more at linktv.org. Hundreds of Palestinians responded to a call sent through Facebook. They gathered in the morning in the center of the West Bank city of Ramallah to participate in a protest organized by youth groups. Today's gathering was preceded by a protest calling for an end to the Palestinian division between Fatah and Hamas. Most Palestinian factions, civil organizations and unions announced their intent to participate in the protest. In the Gaza Strip, Gazans took to the unknown soldier square in the west of the city to participate in the demonstration calling for an end to internal Palestinian division. The protesters chanted slogans demanding national unity. They appealed to both Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas and Hamas Prime Minister Ismail Haniyeh. They confirmed their commitment to the protests and sit-ins until Palestinian division ends. Joining us from Gaza is our correspondent Basim Madhun. Basim, how are the demonstrations proceeding in the Gaza Strip? In fact, hundreds of thousands of Palestinians in the Gaza Strip responded to the call that was sent through social networking sites. They are reiterating the need to end division between the brothers of the nation, between Fatah and Hamas, between Gaza and Ramallah. As you can see, the entire street is agitated. Everyone went out under one banner and one flag, the Palestinian flag. They're demanding an end to division and they're denouncing the occupation. They believe the focus of the brothers of the nation should be directed at the one and only enemy. Hundreds of Syrian protesters took to the streets of the capital, Damascus, chanting slogans demanding political reforms. A YouTube video showed images of protesters gathering at the Hamadiyya market, chanting slogans and calling for freedom. The protesters marched from the Hamadiyya market to the area of Harika. This mobilization, which is unprecedented in Syria, comes in response to a call that was issued on a Facebook page calling for pro-democracy protests across Syria. Joining us in the studio is Syrian writer and political analyst, Mr. Zuhair Dihab. Welcome, Mr. Zuhair. What is your take on this protest? Of course change must come. There's been a gradual trend of economic and social changes, especially in the past few years or since the current regime took power. After the death of former president Hafez Assad in 2000, an attempt was made to launch reforms in the country, especially regarding freedoms. At the time, some officials were reluctant to support this notion due to fear of losing their positions. This is why they stopped the reform movement. Some of the changes that were called for were constitutional. Mm. The constitution stipulates that the Ba'ath Party is the supreme leader of the state and the civil society, meaning it's the dominant party and the popular front for the regime. In fact, the military institution, which is in charge of the armed and security forces, has the ultimate power in the country. The people are calling for freedom of assembly and press. This reform movement was stopped. Then the Iraq War followed. This program is brought to you by Link TV for educational and non commercial use only. Link TV is the only U.S. network dedicated to global and national news, uncompromising documentaries, and diverse cultural programs, programs which connect you to the world.